Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Monday, Magical Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four decks of cards today to connect with your energy, your person's energy and the journey. So it doesn't matter whether you see yourself as the feminine or the masculine, we're going to connect with you and your divine person and your divine journey. So we're going to bring in the almost tarot to connect with the energy and we're going to bring in the answers from above to bring in some guidance and then to connect with your energy, I'm going to connect with the feminine the silence deck, especially if there's any silence between you or things are left unsaid and we're going to use the divine mask and the silence to connect with them. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. And also to let you know, tickets are on sale for my live event in London next month. So if you want to come and see me on the 18th of May to Saturday, check out the link in the description box below. Okay, let's connect then. So first of all, what are you going through today? What's on your mind? Is there anything that you're dealing with? Anything that you're dealing with? I've got two cards coming out of that huge deck, okay? What are they dealing with? Okay, another huge deck here, the silence. What are they dealing with? What are they dealing with? What are they going through? Okay, so I've got a couple of cards getting my attention. Again, two cards there. I've got the card moving, though, on the top of the deck for you there. Now, what's the answer for them? Okay, what's the answer for them right now? What guidance is coming in for them? We've got one card. What guidance is coming in for you? One card. And what's the guidance for the connection today? The guidance for the connection. I've got two cards for the connection here. And then we're going to use the almost tarot. So what's the energy around you today? The energy around you today jumped out of the deck. I've also got another two cards sticking out of the deck there. What's the energy around your person today? Again, cards sticking out of the deck here. I'm taking them. And then energy, look at that, jumped over the camera. Jumped over the camera for the journey itself. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see what's coming in for this week. And make sure you also check out the weekly reading for this week too. Okay, so the energy around you, and you know what they're saying is almost there, even though this is the almost tarot, this is one of my decks, they give me the words today, almost there, it's like you're almost there, so don't give up, remember we've been having the polar bear coming through saying don't give up, so you have a higher calling, there's a reason why you are coming together with this person, there's a higher calling, it's much more than just being in a physical relationship, you are spiritual beings having a human experience. You are eternal beings. You are twin flames. You have a soul bond. It goes beyond a relationship. It goes into a higher calling. That means assisting the world, helping the world, being of service. This is your higher calling. And you can hear your higher self calling to you about the things that you're being called to do, your dreams, goals, things you're passionate about. Maybe it's a place or a a town or a city you want to go and visit or something you want to do, you're being called from a higher place and you're being called into a higher light or a higher vibration or a higher energy. You're listening to your angels and guides today. There's a lot of cleansing around this card and a lot of purity. So I feel you're going through a cleansing today and a healing today because you're building something powerful in your life. You're building something for your higher good. You're building something connected with your higher calling. So this is also about things being molded into place. Things falling into place. Things being created, stability coming in. And the more you work on your dreams and your goals and the more you set your intentions and the more you believe and have faith in them, the quicker they will manifest and come together. And really it's all about you trusting in your own intuition. It's also the higher calling you have to connect with your person in a higher way through the 5D realm, through your tele telepathic link, your intuition, your feelings, your emotions. And you're being reminded to trust in your intuition, especially if you go in something that's knocking you down or hurting you. The leaves here are a symbol of release. Never be afraid to let go of things that need to go. Never be afraid to allow things to heal in separation. Because you always have that telepathic link and that's what you're being shown. So what's on your mind today? Yeah, I just really miss you. I just really miss you. And when we miss our person, it can make us act in crazy ways. And it can make us doubt and go into real pain and sorrow and struggle. So if you're missing them today, which I feel you are, connect with them in a higher way. Through your intuition, through telepathy through the way you feel, through signs, synchronicities, because you have a higher calling and you are building that powerful future. 
You're saying you complete me. You know that together you are one. But when you're not together, you are still one because when you close your eyes, you feel them within you. You live inside of them and they live inside of you. You complete me. And some of you are thinking about a karmic situation. Will you leave him or her? Are you going to be free for me? So the message for you today, whatever is on your mind, whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're going through, focus on service because you have a higher calling. So the angel guidance for you as you start this new week to move things forward and to release fear, to be at peace and at ease with the way the journey is falling together right now, which it is, which means things may be released or you, things may be releasing first to bring you together the right way. The message is focus on service. Service is your higher calling. That's why you've come. This is things you're passionate about, things you love to do. It could be what I do, reading cards, helping others in this way. It could be something completely different. But you know what your higher calling is because it's the calling of your soul. And it's also the calling of your heart. So if you're thinking today, will you leave her? Instead of focusing on that situation and that person and giving that energy, focus on service. Focus on being your best self. Focus on being the person you know there is their person, loving, kind, intuitive and strong. If you're really missing them today, connect with your intuition. Connect with them in the 5D realm. Connect with them because you are building something. And you're building something together. You complete me and I complete you. We are building a future. You know what they show me in this as well as um, in Ghost, you know, in the film Ghost where Molly and Sam are, you know, making love with the, you know, the mold they're making. You know, when they are doing that sculpture, sculpture you know, when they are messing with that clay so a lot of passion again here building that future change what i'm also seeing in this as well as the differences between you are there for a reason who cares what people think you are building a solid foundation not just for your future but for legacies to come to prove to the world there's nothing wrong with an age gap there's nothing wrong with loving someone from a different culture from you with a different culture or a different background or a different, you know, a different way of being. You know, if your person likes something and you like something else, but you still gel together. So that's the energy you're building a future for the legacies of life. Now, the energy around your person, look at this. I'm going over in my head the things that I've done and it pains me. So they're in an energy today where they are going over things, okay? Over things they've done, over things they've said, over things they've not said over the ways they've hurt you, they're going over and over in, in their mind and it hurts them, they're saying it hurts me too because you are my future even if I have said otherwise, even if I've said otherwise you are my future, now they're going through a time of enlightenment in their life where they're receiving guidance, epiphanies and understanding of the higher realms, so they are spending this time, maybe they're out in nature today or maybe they are meditating, connecting with nature today you know, they may be meditating to nature sounds or they've got their eyes closed and they're visualizing they're in a garden somewhere. But really what they are connecting with today is your power, your nurturing energy, the way you nurture them, the way you look after them, the way you make sure they've got everything they need, you know, that you give to them the way you are. So they're missing your nurturing energy and they are working on releasing anything that holds them back to move them towards you. So what they need to do is really release all this pain around what they've done. I'm going over in my head all the things I've done and it pains me. And the sun is going in and out as I'm connecting with this reading because, I don't know if you can see there on the camera there, the sun's going in and out because it's like one minute they're okay and then they're in a lot of pain. One minute they feel relieved and then they feel desperate. So they're going through a wide range of emotions because they're missing you. I'm going over in my head the things I've done and it pains me. Some of them may have gone through a birthday recently or they may have one coming up and that's bringing power in for them to go through a change in this transformation that will enlighten them. And maybe it's your birthday that's coming up or this could be a sign about something occurring that brings power in around your birthday. But I do feel some of the masculines here or some of you know, your people have been experiencing birthdays and changes around this time and this is why they're saying to you I'm in the awareness now of who you are to me you are the divine feminine you're the nurturing energy you are my future 
even if I've said otherwise. Why? Look at this for the journey. It's fate and destiny. All past lead home. And this is one of my cards in here as well. All past lead home. This is the divine feminine uh, power messages. It's fate and destiny that you end up together. So let go of all those burdens today. Put down that cross. And remember, if there is delays, they are delayed with love. Look at the traffic light there. It's got beautiful red heart. So if there is a delay, you are being protected. There's no need to fear. You are still building a solid foundation. You still have your intuition. You can still connect with them in a higher way. And if it all gets too much, just focus on service. That's your higher calling because even if there is delays right now, which are always delayed with love, we're always being protected. It will happen at the right time. You know, always think about this. If you're stuck in traffic somewhere, instead of moaning about it and having road rage, have faith that you're being protected from something that you may not know, like an accident or being involved in something critical. You're being protected. So your journey will happen at the right time. Any fear you're going through is only real in your mind. And that's what you're being shown. And this is as much for you and them because they are going through the fear about the things they've done. I'm going over in my head all the things I've done and it pains me because I'm scared that you won't want me in the future. And you are my future, even if I've said otherwise. You're going through fear because you're thinking, are you going to leave her? I miss you. So focus on your higher calling. Focus on service. Remember, delays are delayed with love because all paths lead home. The journey is also an intuitive journey, connecting with the self and source and the higher realms. So focus on service. And when you focus on service, you feel complete. And guess who really completes you? You. Your connection with self and source because you're connecting with the real nurturing energy of you. And that brings in enlightenment. When you work on service and you listen to your higher calling, you feel enlightened too. And you pray about things that you are struggling with and give them to heaven. And then that becomes a building block instead of a burden. So there's things building right now. The fear is only real in the mind. It will happen at the right time. For some of you, it's even going to happen around a birthday. So take the birthday message as it comes to you today. I feel this may also be an apology if they haven't wished you a happy birthday. But great things are coming in. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.